Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at a new ROM, which is the Fluid ROM for our Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus, which is based on Android 10 with the latest security patch. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the official Fluid ROM 0.6. Uh, let's go into About Phone, uh, into Android 10 version, and you can see it says Fluid, the logo, and with the dot at the end, then Android version 10, the Fluid version, 0.6 Quinol, which is also official version, so you get support from the team as well in the team groups. Then phone specifications 3GB and 32GB in case you forget it. Also, the Android security patch level is the August 5, 2020, so we get the latest security patch installed. And also, we have the Dark Ages Decimo kernel pre built with the latest tag, and the Selenix status is also enforcing, so no compromisation for security as well. The Fluid ROM comes with G apps pre built, so you have all of the stock Google apps, also the Play Store, and they are the latest version, and it gets updated with every update. Also, we have the Google Camera Go app, which is the pre built app in almost all of the ROMs. So, yeah, here we have it's working fine. And you can install any Gcam, the supported one, so there are no issues with camera or any other video recording stuff. Let's take a look at the features now, and the first thing to notice is the UI. The UI is a bit different. You can see this is a quick settings which is a tinted one and this is the brightness bar looks really nice you can see easy you can like push it down and here then let's go into settings here we have the settings you have changed the title the settings is in the front now it's in the middle sorry in the middle and yeah this dashboard and all that uh, notifications are also there so you cannot disable it for now but you can maybe request the developers to add it the settings into it the fluid customization has just these three options with the limited customization settings. So clock settings here, you can customize the clock, the network traffic, then the signal indicator, 4G voltage icon. If you don't want the voltage icon, you can also disable it. And also the show data disabled icon too. If you want to check if the data is disabled while using the Wi-Fi. Then here we have all of these uh, regular options for the stock status bar icons. Then going into quick settings, we have the tile, uh, Tile title, then the tile uh, quick settings and uh, columns and rows customization into theme. The theme UI is a really nice UI. You can see, yeah, I really like this. You know, the ROMs making something something different in their menus and customizations makes it feel really, really great. Then the base theme you have these uh, seven base themes: the default, material ocean, the gray, pitch black, night style, and solarized, and mostly the uh, pitch black is for AMOLED devices to save a lot of battery and yeah I use a dark grey and we also have the accent and uh, other stuff you can see the icon stuff so you can also pick your accent it's a RGB controller you can use any of the color with the RGB then here we have the accent color pre-build this is the pre-build colors you can also choose between them if you want this uh, easy access sorry for that and icon shape you can change the icon shape to these four which you like I am just using the squircle one then the status bar icons you can also choose between them the normal uh, and 10 options and into the clock styles we have these styles uh, not much of the options but yeah the default and Samsung with their bold variants are available and there's uh, analog and the type one and the binary one I don't think so the binary one is used by anyone because it's a little learned, uh, difficult to understand only the pros will be able to and yeah that is it for this customization also into the system going into gestures we have these gestures also the swipe to screenshot gesture works really fine yeah then we have the system navigation the gesture navigation all of the gestures are available also the full screen gesture which will help you hide the pill for a seamless uh, experience and this is the boot animation of the fluid rom just in case if you are wondering if it has something different so yeah showing you this yeah, it like, looks nice, minimal and all that. So guys, that is it for the Fluid ROM review. This ROM is really fluid and has almost no bugs. Maybe a Wi-Fi display is not working, but other all stuff, it's totally working fine. You know, VOLT, Bluetooth and other stuff, it's totally fine. Also, the performance is par excellence. And here we also have, you know, the battery stats. It was just on idle. So it is sleeping for like six days for now. So that's really awesome. Also, 30% juice is still left. 
and yeah uh, gaming i won't talk about gaming a bit wrong because it's our device is also uh, like three year old it's snapdragon 625 so not to expect much from that because the games are also been highly modified and heavily uh, updated now so don't expect much from gaming and that's it you can play light games so yeah also if you want to check the installation it's in the description the installation notes it's pretty easy just a wipe the casual stuff then install and install with the magic if you want to root so yep that is it guys uh bye bye take care also if you guys like this video press the like button just before you go also dislike button if you don't and please subscribe if you want to see more stuff on the redmi 5 plus so yeah bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye and take care